What's going on contenders? Today I want to show you a drill for how you put your hands and your feet together to make it easier for you to punch and move at the same time. And I can say that this is probably one of the advantages, one of the few advantages that I had early in my amateur boxing is that we worked on footwork and movement and punching and footwork drills all the time, nonstop, whether it's under the slip line here like this or working drills or working pivots. We were always working feet and hands, hands and feet, putting them together. And this is one of the earliest drills that my coach showed me. Now, at first it might not make sense to you because it's not actual boxing, but think of it as building the software into your body, building the programming into your body, and that's what drills do. So once you get the drill down, when it comes to the specifics, then it's easier for you to do because all the software and all the movement is already built in. And I can say that at least, at least half of the amateur boxers on a circuit, on the circuit are gonna have a hard time punching and moving at the same time. As my coach always used to say like, half the fighters, they have to get set to punch. So they're there and then they get to their place. Boom, or maybe one step and they punch. One step in and then they gotta punch and their feet are locked down. So this kind of footwork and influence comes from Cuban boxing, which comes from Russian style boxing, the influence there. So it's a little bit of both and everything. And this is something to incorporate into your overall game. It's really gonna give you an edge in terms of movement, putting the hands and feet together and really getting an edge on your opponent. All right, so let me break it down for you right now. Just quickly before we get into the video, I wanna let you know I have a new channel, Boxing Home Workouts. The only thing there is workouts just workouts and that's what i'm doing there shadow boxing workouts conditioning workouts whatever there's about like six seven videos there link is below go check it out if you're into the workouts go check it out this here i'm going to keep the technical this is going to be all the technical footwork skills all that kind of stuff i'm going to keep that here uh virtual pad work i'm not sure where i'm going to put it it's i think virtual pad work might stay here because it's quite technical we're working specific combos but uh anyways go check that out Leave your thoughts, your comments, whether you like those videos or not. Let me know. Give me the straight goods. I want to hear it because uh, that's the only way I can make adjustments is by hearing the truth from what you guys think about my stuff. All right, let's get to it. So first I'm going to show you the drill and then I'll break down how you do it. So this is how it looks. All right, so you can see that it's two parts. It's rock backs, rhythmic rock backs, mixed with lateral motion, and the lateral motion has timed punching, punching that goes on certain, with your feet in a certain way, okay? So let's start out with the rock backs. Simple enough, you're going back and forth. Now remember, you wanna have knees relaxed, ankles relaxed. You don't want this, all right? Nice and easy. Rocking back and forth. Okay, that's what you're gonna put on the end before you switch directions. Although you don't have to have it. You can just work this and switch directions on that. But the rock backs give you a little extra element. So here, every time you go to the right, you punch your right hand out. Right, 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 right. Okay, you work that. So you just can start working that for a while. Right, 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 right. Every time you go to the right. Same thing with the left, go to the left. Left, 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 left. Once you start to feel good, you put them together. Right, left, right, left. We will, we will rock you. That's sort of the rhythm. That kind of, that's the song that I think when I'm, duh, duh. I like all kinds of music, but that song sticks in my head. Right, right, left, right, left, right, left. We will, all right? So you start working that. Now, if you wanted to, you could start working those on the ends and do the middle as just lateral motion. So here, lateral motion, Feet facing forward. None of this, no hammer, no hammer time, all right? Feet facing forward, toes forward, small steps. 
Okay. Knees a little bit bent. Okay. Get some spring. You don't want this. All right. You want some spring. You want to move. You want to be like Sugar Ray. All right. Moving. Okay. Don't worry about the hands just yet. You can put the rock backs on the end. Right. Left. A little bit tight on the space there. Right. Boom. Okay. So that's kind of going to help you with when you got to move, and then you got to set the punch. Okay, lateral motion to punching. Okay, very important for when you're facing that pressure fighter who's always coming at you because you got to move laterally to get away from them, and then when you got to attack, you got to be able to attack right out of that lateral motion. You don't want to be moving laterally and then. Uh, now here, I, you know, it's not gonna work for you. You gotta be able to attack out that lateral motion. So that's where that comes in handy. Okay. Now another video I'm gonna do. Somebody had asked me to break down the footwork in the last 10 seconds of Fury when he knocked out Wilder. In those last 10 seconds, you see Fury do some interesting stuff. You're gonna learn that from this drill. But I'm going to break that down in another video. Moving here. Okay, this motion, we're going to do it forward. Now, when I teach it, it's going to look silly. It's not going to look like it's going to turn into anything. And then when you do it, you'll see. So if I'm going to start to move to the left, I'm going to move my outside foot that way. When I do that, then this foot has to come in. Right here. Okay. When, when I go and this right leg comes in, I punch. So you can go like this. See? Step. Uh. Now, when I step and then bring that foot down, I step out. Uh, uh. Right? Inside leg, outside leg. Step. Step inside, outside. All right? Step inside, outside. And then it's just a bunch of inside, outside. So watch. Step to get me going. Inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Okay, and that looks like this. Okay, that's what that ends up being like. So here, step, step inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Okay, I only do that step in the beginning. Now going back this way, whatever, I gotta switch hands. Inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Okay, I may need to step this way, whatever. You'll know when you're doing it live. That's why teaching it slow motion, it's really just the breakdown of how the weight transfers. Inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. I'm gonna go back. Maybe I have to throw a couple punches there. Inside, outside. Boom. See? Wanna really get into it? You can get low. Duck. 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 All right, that's fancy stuff. Don't worry about that for now. But, anyways, you got this part down. Okay, then inside, outside, oh sorry. Inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Inside, outside. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. If you just go like this and start moving your hands, as long as you're in some kind of steady pattern. You're gonna feel a connection between your hands and your feet together and that's going to allow you better movement when you're punching. So I would say this is just to teach you how it works but don't be too fussy about it being perfect from the start. I would say do more of this and punching and let it teach your body. You will figure it out. This drill right here is magic. All right, work it. 
with all your other stuff, just spin around on it, and you're going to feel that flow, that connectivity coming all together with the rest of your boxing. All right, you guys, if you want to support the channel, support me, make sure to check out precisionstriking.com, instructional videos that teach you how to box from the ground up. In the meantime, keep your hands up, chin down, eyes on the prize. Peace.